Hello guys, how many times you have encountered problems while doing ELISA? Here in this video, I will be covering various troubleshooting tips which will help you in doing quality process in ELISA. So, let's get started. While doing ELISA, we can encounter n number of problems which need a definitive solution. In troubleshooting, we will discuss various consequences which we can encounter during ELISA. It can be no color development, excessive color development, insufficient color development, or replicates in the ELISA plate shows poor reproducibility. If there is no color development after ELISA, the reasons could be first, is the missing steps of conjugate. All conjugates are test to test specific or lot to lot specific. Be sure that conjugate used in ELISA is one that came with the test kit. Second, ELISA kit was not coated properly. Third, during chromogen addition, plate was exposed to the light. Fourth, improper incubation. Fifth, if the substrate is not added properly, so it is very important to check the product insert of assay protocol. Then color may not appear if we are using expired kit. Seventh, preservatives like sodium azide can inhibit the activity of the enzyme. Eighth, and if we are using wrong conjugate or conjugate was prepared incorrectly or it has been deteriorated, the color may not appear. If there is an excessive color development, the reason could be poor quality of water in washed solution or it can be a microbial contamination. Second, if substrate solution is deteriorated. Third, if ELISA washer is showing poor or insufficient performance. Fourth, when the reader was malfunctioning or not blanked properly. Next. Lab temperature was too high and at last, reagents were intermixed with other tests or prepared incorrectly. When there is an insufficient color development, the reason could be laboratory temperature was too low, second, wash solution prepared incorrectly or wrong wash solution was used, third, washer system had a microbial contamination or contain an alternate wash solution or formulation. Fourth, too many wash cycles were used. Fifth, incubation period was too short. Sixth, reagents and plates were too cold. Seventh, Reagents were expired or intermixed from a different lot number. Eighth, wrong conjugate was used or conjugate was prepared incorrectly or has deteriorated. Ninth, a safe plate was read at wrong wavelength and reader was malfunctioning. And the last scenario for troubleshooting is when the replicate within the plate show poor reproducibility. The reason could be, first is excessive time was taken to add samples, controls or reagents to assay the plate. Second, if you are using multi-channel pipettes, it was not functioning properly. Third, there was inconsistent washing or poor washer performance. Fourth, there was poor distribution of antibody in the sample. So next time use these tips while doing ELISA and make it easy for you. Thank you guys. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Take care.